Hello everyone. Today Carl joins me to build a simple FXGL game. Uh, we're going to use some assets uh, to build... Is it a top-down side-scroller or...? It's actually a side-scroller. Right, so oh. we're going to build a side-scroller game and uh, we'll see how far we can take it in this one video. Okay, uh, so give us something. What you got? So let... Let me give you a little bit of background, just a little bit. Um, when I was younger, I used to have an Apple II computer, and I used to um, have this favorite game that was called Rescue Raiders, and also Choplifter. That was a really nice game. And I thought it would be nice to create a, a, you know, a small like helicopter actually you know, flying around using the keyboard. And so that here's some notes. And I went to this uh, site called GameDeveloperStudio.com uh, by this gentleman. He was able. He's actually in the UK, by the way. So he he has a few sprites. Uh, he has the SVG format, and then he also has uh, the PNG nice. file format. So. I actually have them loaded here uh, in your uh, directory structure. Yep. So I basically copied the the demo game that it's. Uh, I believe it's uh, a bucket and there's a dripping of water. Yep. That, that's the um, yeah. That's one of the first tutorials. Uh, yeah. In fact, I kind of reworked the tutorial from uh, libgdx, from, from their library. That's their first tutorial. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I noticed that there's a lot of new refactoring, such as annotations, that I don't take advantage of. So I, I know there's like um, player component in, in things that I don't know much of. I just looked at the uh, example, and I'm just modifying that existing yep. example. That's so. exactly the way to do it, because there's just so much stuff in FXGL at this point. Um, if you start with the most simple example, the minimal example, uh, it'll be much easier to uh, get a hang of it. And refactor it. Yeah. Awesome. So. I basically have the same structure. This isn't a modular app, or in the sense that it's Java modules. Uh, I don't use the Java module system, so this is basically the class path, not the module path. That's fine. Yeah, uh, FXGL can adapt to both. Great. Yeah, at some point I, I would like to refactor it. But so let's see. Um, I downloaded. Uh, I, I think I got the gist of just the beginning parts. So what I did was um, anything overridden is part of the game application class. And so I kind of followed the same model as the uh, bucket in, I don't know, with the, the original example app, uh, setting the title, setting the version, setting... Uh, the width and the height, and then here um, I basically create. Uh, it's it's actually two images that I've worked on, and I was beginning to work on the on the other images. Right. Uh, that's the side view. So this one is it's the same helicopter, but this is facing on. Oh. Yeah, I, I shouldn't know. Uh, are these uh, meant to form animations? Yes. Okay, in it's which case we, we, we've got a thing for that, so we can hopefully uh, make that work. Great. So, like, I guess what I want to do is fix what I have where I think it's working, and, like, such as the way I store... Um, some of the uh, uh, state, such as yep. the velocity. Yeah, that looks good. 
So yeah. shall we run the demo and then um, fix those things that you're talking about? Absolutely. So, okay. so when I use the left arrow, it, it can tilt. And, and what I want to do is have, I'm not understanding this, the, the velocity, because it's like I'm hitting it once, maybe twice, but I can't get it to settle like there. You know what I mean? Okay, yep, we're going to uh, try that. I want to turn off the sound because... Uh, yeah, yeah, you should, you should probably a, do that so it doesn't interfere. Yes, I hope it doesn't interfere with our recording and sound. But um, um, yeah, just in case, if you comment it out, it should be fine. Um, sound is reasonably easy, and it, it looks like you've already um, done it. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, I'm not even sure how to use sound at the moment, but that's what I thought was the appropriate way, yep, but... Yep, that, that looks good. Yeah, there's usually a, a kind of um, simplified DSL um, API for lots of things like playing um, sound, for example. Right, let's look at the player code, I guess. Great. So I, I gather that this update function is per tick. Yes. Is that right, per frame? Mm -hmm. And it averages around 60 frames per second, I believe. Yes, it will okay. match the refresh rate of your display. Great. And so what I do is, from what I how I understand it, um, a texture is, is uh, I guess, let's say, sorry. Oops. It, it creates, it's not a Java FX object, but it puts, it. Uh, I'm just storing the texture objects yeah. Yeah. in an array mm -hmm. so that I can actually add them. And so because the sprite asset is, um, so the only thing I'm dealing with in the current implementation is just the, it's called the face on frame. And it's you know facing you. Yep. And the other, the second one is the one they just alternate at, when I animate them. It's not a sprite sheet, right? As are horizontally, you know, shown. Yep. Same size because I don't know if they're the same size. I just know the propeller is smaller, and then the. Um, this yep, they are the same size. It's um, 1037 by 436, it seems. Yeah, oh, it says that. Size. Okay. Oh. Right, I, so I, do we want this to be an animation that just loops, right? Well, yeah, let's fix that. Um, but yeah, what I let's did, do that. Uh, because they were separate, I said set visible to false, set visible to true, and I yep, don't know. That, that's all right, no worries. There, there is a, a fix for that. So uh, let's look at where you construct the player, because that's where we will need to add this. Or do you have a player at this point? Um, yes, I yeah, do. Okay. Players created here, and I basically, this is how I thought the way you do it, but I'm not sure. So I created a Oh, I see. Yeah, you created a new view component, which is absolutely fine. Uh, it probably works. But it, there is already one that's created by Entity Builder. So oh, wow. let's add our animated um, texture first. Right. Uh, it, within that function where you are right now, let's create animated texture. Not right here, just, just above. Okay. It's going to be a separate object. Uh, as far as I can remember, it's called animated texture. Yep. 
and we'll call it uh, face face on evaluation like that. Yep. And just create is there a yep. builder? Yep. A new animated texture, and let's have a look what kind of things it takes. Oh, I thought you said there's a builder. Oh, sorry, no, not as a builder, just any object. It takes an animation channel. Okay, so we need to construct that one. Uh, animation channel, and let's see how we can construct it. Um, we'll just say... Yeah, just call it channel or something. Equals... It's a constructor? Uh, no, just an object. So new animation channel. And then we'll see what kind of things it expects us. Animation data. I think it's animation channel data. Is that it? Uh, possibly. Let me have a look at the API. Um, let me just actually, let me. Let me yeah. FXGL has grown so big that I can actually remember all of it now. <laughs> <laughs> Animation uh, channel. So uh, it's a right. start. It seems there are several constructors. Uh, okay. The one we want is that takes a bunch of images, right? So yeah, there is a constructor that takes a list of images, channel duration, and number of frames. That's that's perfect for us. So uh, we need a list of image. Of image or? Yeah, image type. List of. Uh, an image array? Or image no, file. list, as in uh, just normal Java list. Yep. Okay. Yep, call it images or something, and then we are going to construct it. I assume you've got Java 11 and higher, so list off should do it. and then pass in uh, the two textures that you've got. OK. Um, was it, uh, I think I called it. You can actually do it here. You, you can call um, image and then pass the name of the file. Image lowercase. Uh, it's a function from FXGL that will load an image at that point. Oh, nice. Yeah. That That's one nice. of the most commonly used functions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's often odd because you know how it is uh, with with um, texture. I can't call it this. Yeah, just co copy the or yeah, just take the element. And then we'll need the second image following that, yeah. Oh, nice. That's so nice. OK, now um, you don't need animation channel data. That's one way to construct it. But uh, for our purposes, we can just pass in the images directly to the animation channel. We then need a duration and number of frames. So duration is a JavaFX duration. That's the length of the animation. Um, half a second, maybe? Let's start with half a second, and then we'll go from there. Can you have, just say, for instance, um, I know this is a helicopter, and they're probably the same um, duration. But what if you had, say, somebody's walking, and you may want them to hold like, say, an axe uh, for, you know, 200 milliseconds, yep. and then another frame. I'm is... glad you asked, because the answer is animation channel data, the thing that you wanted to use. <laughs> gotcha. 
That's well, how you can define um, channel data on a sort of per frame basis. Oh, nice. I like that so much. OK, so uh, did you say half a second? Uh, be I don't know. Maybe smaller than I that, so 0. I 0.2. I don't remember how I did it. Um, I think I did it, oh, I, I, yeah. I did it every, I, did, I think I did it too fast, but uh, I'll That's do all right. it. We can start with something, and then we can uh, refine it. it as necessary. Every, uh, let's see, what's a good, good, uh, is it 30 milliseconds? Yeah, uh, that'll do. 30, 33. And then you'll need, um, actually, yeah, that's it, possibly. Yeah. So supply the channel to the texture, and I think we're good to go. Awesome. So okay. now, when you're constructing your player, uh, for the view, just pass in the texture. The... Yep. And then you'll, you'll want to call face on animation uh, dot loop. Yeah, on that line. On this line? Yeah, um, on the object dot loop. Because it will return the texture itself, but it will make it loop. Mm hmm. Yep. Like that. Mm hmm. Uh, now, yep. if I had a button to, like, say it's about to land. I can stop that loop. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. So I think I have everything I need. Yep. Let's because try running this then and see if it works. Oh, nice. Is it is it doing something? Yep. Doing exactly the same thing. And like I like it. That's good. So okay, the, uh, cool. In which case, we can remove uh, the previous stuff, can we? Yeah. Okay. So, so you don't need the extra uh, view component because there's already one by default. And then, and I don't need this. This. Yep. Odd. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this because I. I no, I like how you can loop through each entity of the type yeah. and deal with it, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, the game world is quite comprehensive. It gives you, um, its API is pretty good for accessing a lot of data within the game world. Because you could like go through all the enemies or you can go through all the bullets or exactly. something. Yeah. It's so cool. Or you can get a random one, or you can get enemies or entities within a particular range, radius, and so on. So at this point, I have this thing called local anchor and position. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this properly. Um, I think you are, yeah. Oh, I am. Oh, wonderful. So the idea was to... So this guy right here, what does this do? Exactly? Uh, this will actually override what you said uh, um, at the previous line. So this is going to take the center of your entity, which is currently 0, 0, because there is no bounding box. Um, right. And we'll make it uh, the anchor point. So one of these has to go. I just don't know which one. OK. Um, I th I'm not sure, but when I did this, it didn't work. Yeah, so you probably want to get rid of the other one. Okay. I, I wasn't sure why, but it, I mean, I'm wondering, is this is this method supposed to do this? I think so. Uh, are you just setting it to the center of your sprite? Correct. Yes, in which case, if you assign it uh, with a bounding box. So not view, but view with B box. Oops. Yep, and then comment out the view. 
uh, and then anchor from center should do it and you don't need the yeah let's try that because the idea is to rotate the angle oh wow it's working <laughs> I like it cool yeah if you don't provide a bounding box uh, FXGL doesn't know how big your entity is oh nice Okay. So the local anchor stuff should uh, go then, I think. And I might get rid of that. Yep. That. And, uh, okay. So rotation origin. Um, yeah, for that you will need your local anchor because you need to know where it is. So there's no, um, I guess, function for that. There is, but we're just constructing the entity. At this point, the entity oh. doesn't exist. <laughs> right. Uh, the function that you're thinking of is uh, get center. Ah. Oh. So I have like, if the velocity, okay, here's my question though, I'm outputting you notice at the bottom, yeah. I'm putting the velocity. What I find interesting is, is every time I press the button, it it adds uh, point one zero uh, to the to the velocity, and and then I have thresholds ranging mm -hmm. from zero. Uh, or, you know, from 0 to positive 10, or 0 to point 10, or 0 to 20, I think, point 20, and then point 20 to point 30. And, I'm, and each increment, or the speed, I'm adding point 1. So shouldn't these actually be increments of, like, Point ten, point twenty, point thirty, but they're they're fractions. Okay, I, I, let's have a look um, where you you're should, adding these, and let's see. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's so the speed. Time, yeah. So every time, so this adjust pitch is the guy. I think it's pitch. It's either pitch or y'all. <laughs> but the idea is that. When you're going faster, it actually goes off in an angle. That's yeah, the, uh, it's along the z-axis, so I think it's pitch. Oh, it's roll, isn't it? Maybe it's roll? Yeah, because it's pitch, yaw, and then roll. And roll is the z-axis, I think. Uh, Pitch is like this, so it's the x-axis, and the y is the your. Okay. Let me change. But in any case, it, it, it's fine. The logic should be fine. So what, what you're doing is, if velocity is between that and that, angle is zero, and. Yeah. Let's do that. So here, I'm I'm guessing. What I'm trying to say is, every time I hit the keyboard, yep, say left or right, shouldn't this be increments of, like, if I'm going right, it should be point twenty, point thirty, point forty, right? It shouldn't be some fraction of that, right? Well, don't understand. isn't it using double variable uh, to store these? So if you're adding fractions, then you're going to end up with floating point imprecision. Ah, that's right. That's right. Ah, so I should have some... Hmm. Hmm. So, so it's more of a limitation um, of yeah. the 
sort of environment in which we're in rather than uh, a <laughs> language or anything. Yeah, I should have done something with the math, I guess. Well, that, that should be fine. Um, should be fine. Yeah, yeah, should be all right. As long as it kind of generally works and does its own thing. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I could, I could do like some epsilon, like just, you know, checking bounds and such. Yep. You know, but that, 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 that's fine. Um, right, right. So we've got to this bit. What, what's next for us? So, um, so let's see. I want to now deal with if it, so this is working okay, you're saying? I just want to make sure we're doing this okay. This is doing this okay. What I want to do is set up another set of keys, for instance, like um, say like ASD. So A will allow me to go left in the side view, which is this this side view animation, you know, we're flying left. Mm -hmm. And I also want an equivalent going right. So I want the keys A to go left, S to face on, and then D to go uh, right. I want this image flipped. They only give you uh, these, these images. That that is fine. Yep. Um, so, and I want a a copy of this, I guess, going the other way. Yeah, so, that's that's all right. So, um, if we can close this application and then um, go to adding key A. Okay. Then, then uh, Lambda to do stuff. Yep, <laughs> to do stuff. You're correct. Uh, that stuff is us essentially just replacing the um, view, right? Yep, that's precisely what it is. Uh, replacing the player entity view. So get the reference to the player. Okay, I actually have him as a instance. Yep, variable. That, that should be all right. Yep. Is that just okay? use that? Okay, because I didn't know if there's a way to once it's created here. Can yep, you... you can either get it from the game world or you can store a reference. Either is fine. Yeah, I think the game world, yeah, once I learn, yeah, right now I'll just get it. <laughs> okay, uh, so. Get view component. So you'll notice that there are lots of components attached to entities. That's how entities gain data and behavior. So if sure. you need view, you attach it to view component. If you need to add some new data to your entity, you just create a custom component and use that. That way we can easily separate all the data and behavior in scalable self-contained components. Gotcha. So here essentially it's uh, you can clear all children and then add a new child. Mm. Okay. So... It's essentially so like adding um, Children nodes. If you um, if you think about it that way, sure. Which is very kind of JavaFX esque. So at this point, um, at this point, you want see. to add that image facing left. Okay. So and you would use just so texture. Okay, so it's one texture. Mm-hmm. But okay, so how about I create? 
So I create a new list. So could I create? Could I create this again with that? Oh, is it map? animated? So those both, uh, yeah. those two images are animation of one side. Is it? Correct. Okay. In which case, yeah, you will need uh, something similar. So just copy this. Based on animation, and then. And then you can refactor it as necessary later on. Yes. Because that's essentially duplicate code. Yes. Ah, I call it one. It doesn't work. I'm just going to call it two. It doesn't <laughs> OK, so then. Uh, yeah, you, you'll need to pass in the right images as well. Um, the line before that. Yeah, it's left images. Okay, so the images object. Yeah, line 128. Oh, gotcha. The images object needs to be uh, left images. Yep. Excellent. And then this guy, I guess, um, since this is, I have to define these outside, don't I? Uh, not necessarily. You can add. Um, so oh, entity. So I could add this, right? Like I, so, I think yeah, I because there are several ways of doing it. I'm just thinking. Yeah, you could you could do that. That will probably be the easiest way. Left. And then you can do the same for uh, face on animation. So that eventually we can just. Um, use that too. Awesome. So at this point, letter A should be just like layer dot. I need to get the property. Uh, get object and then pass in the key. Yep. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> uh, left something? Oh, yeah. Uh, left. Face on. Okay. Face on. Right. Uh, we'll have to just think about this for a second because the thing is. These are going to these two lines are going to be called every time you keep a pressed, which is uh, not ideal. So we want to have a check of some kind there, um, saying if current child is not. Um, so the player, can you, in the same manner that you store properties, can is that the state? Like, could I could I say? Um, Definitely, yeah, you could use that. It's, uh, um, and you can define an enum and then use that. Um, um, so it'll be left, right, and then um, face on. Yeah, that's kind of neat. It offered. Huh, that's neat. I don't know how, but IntelliJ just tells me what I should type. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably taking the name of the enum. 
But yeah, that was pretty good. That's cool. Okay, so here we're going to have. Yeah, by default, it seems it's facing, um, well, facing. <laughs> oh, I should have said face yeah. on. Let's see, I see, I see. So facing is the current state, and then um, facing state, facing state. So, okay. So if current state um, is not left, I suppose. Um, is not equal to to left. Yeah. If, okay. If it's not left, then um, do all the view related stuff and then set it to left. In which case, um, it's only going to be called once. Right. Without. Microseconds, but still, it would it would save a lot of time. Yeah, we don't want to call particularly view related stuff um, on every frame. Yeah, and we'll need to set the state as well to okay. left. It should be set uh, set property. Yeah. So get property might have been is that in there too? Or? Uh, there might be a generic one get property, um, but it's much nicer to have the actual type. For example, like get int. It takes oh. any object because it doesn't matter what you pass in. But when you're getting it back, it much, it's much nicer from API perspective to get the actual type, so you can actually do something with it. So by default, the center facing, it's not equal to facing. Yep, and then we yeah. need to set facing. And then change the animation. Yep. Song, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, properties are fine um, if you don't have a lot of them, but if yeah. the um, if the number grows, then it's much easier to use uh, a component, custom component. But that's for custom. later. Hmm. Like player component. Yeah, something along those lines. Example. So maybe yeah, we shall we shall we try that? And then yeah, if it works, we'll do it. the right side. Awesome. So it cool. Um, interesting. I hit A. Center works. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it stopped working. Like center always works. And then not sure if okay. I'm hitting the side view and it's not showing for some reason. So Okay, so it's is it the left one that doesn't work? The yeah, this guy. So if it's not equal to left, right? So at this point, it's not equal. Um, do we need to kickstart the animation as well, I wonder? Does it have anything to do with it? It's possible. Um, also, let me check clear children. Does that completely clear and remove um, View data because it might be actually cleaning up some stuff. Clear children or remove ch child. Just wondering if 
Yeah, you, you want to do remove child because clear children apparently it's remove and then clean. I need to fix the documentation. But yeah, sure. I'm looking at the implementation. It says it basically disposes of uh, the stuff. So it's remove child. Um, so it should and, be. Well, you can get. Uh, try getting all children. Yeah. Yeah, that won't work that because we don't know which one is currently attached. So um, you want to g do something like get view component, get uh, children. No, but this is in the property. It's always in there, right? So here we're removing it from the view component. Yeah, but the right? view might be facing right, for example. Because we don't know which view is currently on. We don't, but we, but we do know because it says it's not facing center. Yeah, so it could be facing left or right. Right. So you want to remove it, and this is the reference to it, right? Isn't this the object? No. Here we want to add the child which is facing onwards and remove uh, the other ones. Right, that's right. I, I see what you mean. We don't know what it is. It could be yeah. right or left. It's definitely not facing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's uh, children and then remove zero, I guess. Instead of remove child, you can query uh, all of the children. Try get children or something along those lines. Yep, and then try removing the first element, or I suppose the zeroth element. That's dangerous, but okay. Okay, in this part, we add the, the center facing. Yep, sure. So that looks good, and then uh, you'll need to update the other one for A. And then if you go to spawn player, we also want to uh, kickstart the other animation. I don't think we looped it. So left animation loop. Um, okay. You, you can it, call it, yeah, you can call it anywhere. Would that? Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. If, if it's hidden, do you want to not, like, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not going to run because it's not part of the scene graph. Oh, nice, nice. Let's see. Okay, so this should work. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> emphasis on the word should. <laughs> oh. Nice. Interesting. Wonder why. The image, yeah, the image isn't totally, oh, you know what? I think the, the other one is still there. Yeah, it's not removed. Oh, I like how it can actually, <laughs> I like it. Okay, so it's not removing Mr. Center Facing Guy. So I'm wondering if there's other children in you know, I'm wondering you, you if... You might actually be right, uh, because that's not... Yeah. yeah. I could have sworn uh, it is... Isn't this the same? I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the same. Because maybe your clear in the framework is different from the JavaFX clear. Is this the JavaFX clear? No, 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 no. Clear children mm -hmm. is FXGLs one. I will definitely clear them. So that is not. You want me to do this? Because I'm wondering if it has the first texture and the second texture. Yeah, and we. No, just it's just uh, the the removing of the zeroth element in in the root. It, it's actually not as simple. I'm looking at the implementation, and there are actually so many other um, components. Yeah, are... attached to it because of various transformations that one can apply in FXGL. So, so we need to figure out how to remove the 
um, yeah, you know so I, view, okay, so get children, the, zero, the zeroth element that you have returned is the view root, which is what you want to... Why can't I do this just, just, for, just to get it to work? What if I just did that? Would that work? And, uh, yes, it, it should. Yeah. If we know if exactly have, what's attached, it will work. Or it should work, yeah. And I'll, once we create the, um, the right facing... You could actually add just another one. Remove child right. If it's not there, it's not going to do anything. So, technically speaking, it will work. But, however, if this returns a null, you can't remove a null. Uh, yeah, it won't. Um, uh, well, we have to add something for right. Yeah, you're okay. correct. It will return null. In fact, it will probably crash in your face, actually, <laughs> because that's how FXGL uh, does certain things. If it's a developer error, it'll try, um, what was it called? Fail fast? Yes. So that the user, or rather developer knows that they've done something incorrectly. So if this is center, you're removing... The right one and the middle one, yep. So it all looks good. Well, this is, this is uh, left. Oh, if it's le yeah, if it's left, then you're removing the center one and the right one. The center one and the right one, yeah. Which we currently don't have, but we will uh, in a second. It should work, hopefully. Nice. Except it's not added. Don't know why it's not added. Okay, let's look at that. So this is left animation. Um, you add. Oh, you know what? Okay, so we added it. Left animation, left animation. I did say loop. Yeah, we made it loop, so I wonder why um, it's not looping. So the images, the images are correct, are they? So we're, we're using... I'm wondering if when I add it, let's see if you have to kick it off again. Uh, no, it. no, uh, it, it should automatically keep looping, um, I would have thought. Can we check if the images um, that are loaded are correct? So what, what images are we using there? That could be spelled wrong. Uh, and also, I think you provide a warning, which is really nice. Um, lose my velocity. I'm just trying to get rid of where it displays the velocity to solve that problem. If we go to spawn player, okay, um, and yeah, we're using the same image. Yeah. Good, fine, good catch. Great pair of programming there. Right. All right. Looks good. That looks so nice. Cool. Okay, as a last thing, we could do the right hand side, and that will be um, our aim, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, you've got the default menu <laughs> as well, which you get for yeah, free. <laughs> I love that. I, I like the. Can you? Later, yeah, I could actually um, play with the sound and all that. I, yep. I did. 
the user can configure it. Right. So the right side, I wonder if we could just flip the thing because we don't really need to, um, I don't think we need to create another texture. Correct. Um, so is there a way to flip this image? Yep. Uh, I'm just thinking about the most effective way of doing it. Sure. Alternatively, you could just do what you're currently doing, call it right animation and then scale it in the X axis by a minus one. Um, how do you, uh, where do you, oh, you could do it on the image itself? Uh, no, on the texture. Images are just image data. Uh, textures are like uh, views, JavaFX views that you can manipulate. So yeah, so, right like, animation uh, set scale X minus one. Oh uh, yeah. And then uh, you can set it exactly in the same way uh, as the other ones. In fact, now I think about it, you don't even need to load right images. You can just use left images. Oh, really? Well, That's because cool. it's the same images. Uh, well, it's the same image yeah. data. You, you will need animated texture as a separate thing, which we could potentially get rid of, but it, it, it's quicker to have it. Uh, just get rid of images. Um, uh, um, line 136. Um, so get rid of this guy. Yep, and then use left images, because they're exactly the same. Awesome. So I'm flipping it. With the scale, yep. get it one, then I'm adding this to the uh, entity. Yep, as a property. Excellent. So the and then your scale should also, oh, you're scaling it up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, we can do something about that later. We'll see how this works first. So this guy yep. is removed, and then this guy is removed. And then you need uh, one for the D key for facing right. I'm sure I can refactor this, but yeah, for now. Yeah, that's for later. It's get it working and then refactor. Yeah, it's left, face on, and then uh, right. You want to remove the left one and the face on one. Yep. And then the state uh, is not facing right and um, yeah. Okay. So if it's not right, it's left and face on. Those yep. need to be. Then we set it to look right, and then we set the current property for the state. Looks good. Awesome. Let's try it. Cool. Yeah, the hover, I want it kind of like stabilized, but that, I could fix that. I think that's, you said it was based on the, um, it was based on the, the precision. Yep, try the right one now. Awesome. Nice. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks real good. 
Cool. <laughs> That's neat. I think if we had a joystick, I wish there were uh, intermediate uh, uh, angles of the animation. Yeah. That would have that would have been nicer if it. Yeah, it, that, that's something um, you can actually do. Um, there is interpolation within the animation, so you can actually kind of manually tween the state between oh. um, where it's currently Jeez. at uh, to where it's going. Oh, nice! But that's for later. Yeah. Um, for the purposes of this video, I think we've met our aim. We included some animations, we did some um, basic setup, so we can uh, proceed with gameplay at some point, because I assume it's not just going to be one helicopter flying around, <laughs> it's going to be yeah. shooting at something. Exactly. And, I, and there is assets for bullets and such, so I th think we can end it at this, but I want to show some of the assets. I think it would be neat to just show some of the yep. assets. Um, so, we, so we have some ground units, which is cool. We have nice. Um, These are like, pretty good, um, pretty high quality assets. I, I would have thought. Uh, yeah. I think these are pretty large as well, so you may wish to increase the uh, size of your game, as in dimensions. Yeah, I, I really want to um, uh, get it to where there's parallaxing and also similar to Rescue Raiders at the very top, it's like a radar where you can see beyond the screen where the other player is actually moving. So they they look like dots, but you could see the, you know, it's typically like a radar. You yeah. can actually be where... Yeah, we could definitely build something like that um, yeah, for the user interface of this game. That could so like, work. It's kind of like Mario or, or uh, um, what is it called, Defender? I think Defender is like that. Nice. Yeah. Some cool assets. It's more of a kind of like teaser for uh, possibly part two. <laughs> yeah. So there's like parachutes. Um, that we, we can drop off uh, units um, to land, and they can have we can have AI, you know, shoot uh, like some of the ground units and such. But nice. yeah. In Something. which case, uh, watch this space for a potential comeback with part two uh, for this game. But for this video, um, thanks for watching, and that's it. We'll see you later. <laughs> Take care. Thanks.